Now my Larry already comes with the power um, mirror, but now when I close it, <laughs> it closes on its own. <laughs> you already know who it is, man. James Zachers TV. Hit that like, comment, subscribe to the channel. J A T V. What is going on, YouTube? Man, it's your boy, James Atkins TV, and thanks in advance for tap, tap, tapping in. Um, I actually don't know what I'm going to title today's video, but I'm going to go ahead and get into a box of these goodies that I have ordered for the truck. Um, so, on my Instagram story, I already kind of like lay out the land for some of these little mods that I have going here. So, um, I don't know if it's going to be a one part or a two part. Uh, video but all the stuff in the boxes are mods man um so yeah also got this o b d link here as well so today i'm actually going to be getting this uh four scan going so if you guys don't know what four scan is four scan is a software that allows you to pretty much make configurations and changes to your F-150 or your Ford uh, automobile. I don't know exactly the suite or the long list of things or vehicles that you can make changes to, but the F-150 is one of them. Um, I've already done this sort of, kind of, <laughs> um, uh, some force scan changes, but the module that we were using was a Bluetooth link, and I'm not sure if I was able to, I was, well, I, I for sure was not able to see all the things in the list so i'm gonna skip all the talking and kind of just go ahead and go over some of the changes that i'm going to get into and hopefully they work so um i won't really go into too much detail about what it looks like you can watch all these youtube videos i'm gonna spare you guys the time on that and uh yeah just gonna go ahead and get right into it so i want to do the auto folding mirrors i believe that's like the linking fold um i want to be able to have um the turn signal blink for I think five times. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do Bambi mode or not. All these are different types of configurations and settings that you can do inside of Forescan, which is a software that allows you to make all these changes. So done with that pretty much, I'm gonna show you the little spreadsheet that I got, show you the changes, and if it works, you'll know. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm outside, got the truck here it's been raining a little bit so it's just kind of dirty right now already got the odb link inside as well let me go ahead and plug this in got the spreadsheets in the computer over here and this is a very straightforward process as well all right so we go under here line our prongs up to the obd port plug it in light turns green and we're connected all right guys so this is what it looks like it is downloading all the modules from the vehicle and it's basically reading the system information from the vehicle right now once all this is downloaded yes i will save this profile now um and once all this is downloaded and saved, then I can go in and start making changes. All right, folks, so let's try to do an easy one, such as uh, the engine tips and transmission temps shown above the uh, gauges. So basically, instead of only showing the amount of gas mileage, if it can focus, if it can focus, instead of showing only the gas mileage, it'll show all the temps available up there. Um, so I need to go to IPC and configurations. So I'm in the configurations here. I will scroll to IPC, which is one of these, and change the value. So let's see, is it IPC here? Hit the little play button. Change the configuration is potentially not safe. Okay, I understand. And I am looking for 720.07-01. Seven twenty oh seven dash zero one, which is here, and let's make these changes. All right, guys. So the first one is done. 
And as you can see, the temperature gauges are now uh, showing. I'm not sure why the oil lamp one isn't uh, showing, but they're up there. Cool. On to the next. As I'm playing around, as I'm playing around in here, folks, I also just found out that if you go up here and you click on not the as built format, you will get an easier view of this, which is the uh, pretty much you just click into here and then you just like enable or disable it and be done. So let's get the plan around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so um, it's getting dark outside and I've been playing around with this thing for a few hours. Um, word of advice, if you're gonna go through here, already kind of know exactly what you wanna do because there's a ton of stuff that you can change and modify and configure in these settings, all right? So let me just go ahead and give you guys a little rundown of all the stuff that I've changed and all the stuff that I've worked on. And yeah, it's pretty cool to me, so if you guys like it, drop a uh, thumbs up on this video, drop a comment down below on something that I may have missed um tell me what you think about the things that i did change and also if you're familiar with Forescan, what are some other suggestions that i should make to my uh truck um that being said be sure to subscribe and i'm going to go ahead and get into what i've changed already all right so i showed you guys already the uh gauge temperatures up there um still don't know why the oil lamp isn't showing so if you guys know down below which one is that um for the oil lamp please do let me know um I don't know if you guys remember a while back, but I was telling you that these lights were not matching because of Forescan. I was able to get them to match now. Thankful, thankfully I got that done. Um, also, when I go inside of the truck, really cool guys, if I turn the, turn the truck off, hop out. Now my Larry already comes with the power um, mirror, but now, when I close it, <laughs> it closes on its own. Yes, sir. I love that feature. But guess what? That's not even it. That's not even the coolest part. I can now do this. So when it's really hot outside, the window is going to roll down. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, that's so sweet, baby. And then also, I have the ability to roll them back up whenever I need to. All uh, from the key fob. All uh, from the key fob. Love that feature. Love that feature. I think that is all that I actually changed and played around with. I could be missing something, but if I do, I'll be sure to drop it below in the description. So, um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. If you're still tapped in and still tuned in, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. More content on the way. And it's your boy, man. We out.